Hey, I'm Dusty, friends call me Moose. I'm the dude behind CameraTips.com. And in this video, I wanna show you how to set up a wireless remote for the Sony A6000 using your smartphone. Now, Sony provides an app called Play Memories Mobile. This app serves as a connection between your phone and the camera. You can transfer photos this way. You can also access the smart remote. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set this up. First step is to go ahead and download the Play Memories mobile app to your phone. Then we're gonna jump over to the camera and we are going to jump into the menu and select the fourth tab. We're gonna come down to application list, select that, and inside here you should see a menu option for smart remote control. If you don't, or if it looks slightly different, you're gonna to wanna to come over to the Play Memories camera apps, which is sort of the app store for Sony cameras. And you're gonna to wanna to go in there and download the latest version of the smart remote control app. Now, I already have this installed, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip that step and jump right to it. Now, what you wanna do is go ahead and select this tab, and this is going to start up the smart remote. Now, the first time you do this, it's gonna want to establish a connection between your phone and the camera. So uh, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna access this by uh, a password. So I'm gonna press the trash can icon like it's shown here on the screen, and it's gonna provide me with a password. So I'm gonna jump back over to my phone, and I'm gonna jump into my Wi-Fi settings, and I'm gonna see a network here that is starts with direct and ends with the number 6000. This is the Wi-Fi network from my phone. So I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna go ahead and enter the password shown on screen. And then we'll hit join. And this is going to establish that Wi-Fi connection between uh, my phone and the camera. And once we've su successfully connected, I'm gonna jump over to the Play Memories app. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And what we're going to see is essentially a live view of what the camera sees. So here on my phone, I as I zoom in and out with my camera, you can see how that is being displayed here on my phone. I also get access to some of the settings um, inside my camera, such as the uh, focus mode. I can change this from AFS to AFC. Um, I can change my white balance if I wanted to. Uh, so some of the options here are available uh, for us to access the settings away from our camera. So if you're standing at you know 10 or 20 feet away and you're taking a picture of yourself with a group, you can access some of these settings from your smartphone. Now to take a photo, what we can do is press this little circle shutter button here and this will trigger the camera to take a shot. Now I find it kind of helpful if you are taking a self portrait um, to come back in here and enable the self timer. And I usually set it to about two seconds. That way you press the shutter, you can pop the phone into your pocket and then smile and then take the shot. Now, if you're still trying to figure out how to use this camera, maybe you're unsure of which settings to use, I actually just released a set of really simple cheat sheets for the Sony A6000 that show you the exact settings I use for really common scenarios, like portraits, sports, landscapes, and more. You can kind of think of them like recipes. I show you the shooting mode, the exposure settings like aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. I also go over the autofocus modes I use depending on the subject or scene. So if you're interested in checking that out, I'll put a link down in the description below. Until next time, thanks for watching. Catch you later.